Welcome back to Cow Time Pod. It's your host, Rick. The video today from Replicant Fish. Woman ruins good men by cheating and then regrets when other men reject them. Hmm. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Ask you that channel. It's Cow Time. Women ruin good men by cheating mm -hmm. and feel regrets. Regrets when other men reject them. It is strange <laughs> how you don't know what you have until it's gone. Or you don't know what you have or had until it doesn't want you anymore. Just a reminder, the woman that you fell in love with never actually existed. Hmm. Sucking on chili dog outside the tape freeze. She created that persona just for you. She saw how wonderful you were and copied it back to you. Hmm. See, she pretended to like all of the things that you liked to be more believable. She knew you were smart and she... Bam. This is some maniacal, devastating shit that we're listening to right here. You knew you wouldn't want her if she portrayed her true personality. She made you believe that... She... In other words, if she had shown you who she really was from the beginning, you may not have wanted her. Which nope. is sad when you find out at the end, this is what she was like all along. She made you believe that she was madly in love with you. She made you believe you were the center of the universe. Hmm. And then she stopped playing. She knew she had trapped you. Ooh. She knew that you would yourself if you could only get back the person that you had in the beginning. Damn. She didn't care. She never cared. It was never about you. It was always about her and trying to be a good person, trying to appear to be a good human. Her like ego. You but she'll never manage to do that. It's just not in her nature. She treats everyone this way. You weren't her first and you won't be her last. Interesting, what a lovely woman giving details, letting men know deep down a lot of these women, it was all a lie, it was all a lie. Now this is why for a lot of women, cheating is very easy because the simple point is she never liked to begin with. She knew she had trapped you. But what were you good for? What are a lot of men good for? Safety security you were there i went recently on a two-week trip to south america and on mm. that trip i cheated on my boyfriend of two years yeah. oh boy but the moment it happened i instantly regretted it i cry every day thinking about it i love my boyfriend with all my heart i couldn't you lying whore i hate when people cheat and then they say i love you with all my heart like you wouldn't have hurt me if you loved me. Possibly bear telling him the truth, what would Alex do? Oh no. Girl, girl, girl. Channeling, 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 channeling. My first and initial thought here, if you cheated on him, is he really the one for you? No. And I know that sounds really bad. Maybe, maybe he is really great and maybe you do really love him, but maybe you don't want a boyfriend right now. It's not giving- Look, the simple point is, what? she made a choice and decision for what she wanted in her life. Now, if you're a single woman, uh, no one cares. You're a single woman, you're having fun busting it Doing open. Okay. Yeah, everyone can get a piece. Seriously. But when you're in a relationship with someone else and then you cheat on them, that's you ruining someone's trust in you. So mm -hmm. that chick ruined her boyfriend's trust in her. Went on a little holiday. How cliche. A chick goes on a holiday and gets, uh, and gets ran through. Oh, how rare. How, how rare. Yeah. But the point is... Now you have another ruined man, a man who's been cheated on, betrayed. Probably gonna become a fuck boy and ruin other women because you ruined him. Probably happy to let his girlfriend go on a little holiday. Yeah, go on. Let your hair down, feel good. She did more than letting her hair down, didn't she? Yeah, it's about what she let in. Given to me that you're like 110% like overly obsessed with this guy. I don't know. Oh my God, this one's really stressing me out. If you want to move forward and you want to have a good relationship with this guy, this is the one and this is your man. I think you have to tell him. Mm. No, no, no. If this is a guy that you are going to break up with, maybe I would break up with him and not tell him that I cheated on him. And you know why? Yeah. Protecting my own piece here. Wow. I've just realized this is Alex L. She's supposed to be popular on TikTok. This is the first time I've ever seen her. So, okay. Okay. And not tell him that I cheated on him. Most of the time, they actually love them. Yeah, but do they? I mean, do you, mm -hmm. if you cheat on somebody, do you actually love them? Or are you just l the in love with the idea of them? <sighs> That's Ooh, got you there, didn't he? Got you there. Do you know what the thing is? A lot of women cheat because the man, the boyfriend, husband, whatever he is, he's safe. He's safe. He's there. Unless he finds out she's cheating, he's still going to be there. It's a safety net. A safety net. Talk about this, right? You know, Patrice O'Neill always says it. 
You, you got to still show them you can still fish, man. Or else they think they're the fucking prize and that you, that you already caught the prize fish. No, bitch. There's plenty of other prize fishes ready for my fucking net to come in, to come into my net. Net. So for whatever reason, a lot of women cheat. Usually they say it's because they're lacking something at home. As a man, the man, the boyfriend, husband, he's not providing something. Therefore, therefore she needs to get it out of the relationship from other men. <laughs> Interesting. But she doesn't want to break up what they have. No, 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 no. No, not for a bit of knob. No. The safety net of a man. Some men should question. You're a decent man, but to her, are you just a safety net? Are you just a safety net, but not the man she's lusting after? <sighs> and probably cheating with. In love with the idea of them. <sighs> That's hard. I cheated on my boyfriend nine months ago. He found out immediately. There were tears and lots of fighting, but ultimately we didn't break up because he wanted to stay together and work through it. This was so unexpected and I just went with it. I can't believe he took me back and I think part of mm. me really wishes he didn't. Am I an absolute mm. idiot if I don't stay with him after he's chosen to forgive me? How many times do we talk about it that when you take them back, they, that, <laughs> they lose a huge level of respect for you? That you don't see you as that same guy anymore. This is a great example of that right in our eyes. I feel like such an asshole breaking up with him when I'm the one who did him wrong. Oh, uh, now a lot of dudes would stay in this sort of situation. I don't Plenty. understand it myself personally. No, she's willing to sleep with someone else. She wasn't yours. It was just your turn. She had a turn with another man. Okay. I mean, it's okay. I guess if you're okay with being, it's just your turn. But if you are genuinely looking for someone to connect with and build with yeah just move on hey proper garden tool our turn woman is over he can have you other men can have you but i get it a lot of people stay together because what they've built together is so i don't know strong okay they've got too much to lose they Maybe. live together they've got money involved well oh, various reasons why people stay together after infidelity but look at this situation this woman's guilty and she even feels guilty. Mm -hmm. She actually wants him to break up with her. See, this is why a lot of men who forgive women that cheat on him. Honestly, I don't think these women even respect these men. Nope. But I fully believe these women don't respect these men. Simply because I believe a lot of women would expect to be broken up with. That's why they keep it a secret and do all these Mission Impossible type tactics to cheat. And in some way you wonder, did she just want to leave him anyway? But because he was decent, he wasn't actually a crap dude. She didn't have a good reason to leave him, so... She just wanted to mess it up. Yeah, do him a favor and f off. Yeah, honestly, Ooh. you owe it to him. You owe it to yourself. If you're not going to put 100% you... commitment back into it, like why don't do it to the guy twice. You just got to end it. Yeah. End it, boo-boo. Kick rocks. We just like breezed right there. We're like, you're... I mean, do you have any other notes on that? No. No. It's a good man ruined. I don't think there's a anything no else to say. It was a no-brainer. Yeah. I mean, you're not happy, clearly. I couldn't find a single article on why men get cheated on. I made a video the other day on 10 like types of women that are most likely to get cheated on and someone asked me, can you do one on men? We don't discuss these things or make videos about these things like you women do, that's why. So I looked it up, absolutely nothing like <laughs> nothing and i'm thinking why i think they just instantly just put the blame on the woman like straight away no no for someone who looks up articles constantly let me explain how to find the women cheating articles you have to do the same thing women do in lying about why they cheat they blame the man so in other words to find these articles look for a woman cheated because yeah it, it sadly is yeah. in some cases that simple a woman did this or a man did this and a woman cheated a man did that a woman cheated a woman cheated because a man did you get the point you get the point so there are a lot of them it's how you search for them because searching for cheating men oh that's easy oh that's it oh, they'll give you a million of those cheating women no 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 they have to wrap it <laughs> and mask it and disguise it in all sort of layers of BS. Like when a woman cheats and blames a man, oh, you didn't, you're working too much to provide and you couldn't give me enough attention because you're working too much to provide, okay. And it's like nothing to do with them. And obviously the woman is to blame in that situation for the majority of it, but like nine times out of 10, you could have prevented it and it could have possibly been caused by you in the- I don't know about nine times out of 10 maybe like four times out of ten that you can probably prevent it but 
women are going to do what they want to do. You can't control them. You know, you can, you could try, but they're just going to resent you even more. First place, but I don't know if many men are very self-aware of that situation. So congratulations to the one guy that asked me in my comment section. I want to try and help you with my own experience because I feel like I owe you an answer. I feel like women cheat mainly because their needs aren't being met. So I haven't Fuckin cheated before. A. Um, I have friends- Still goes back to our fault somehow, huh? God dang it. ...that have. And when my friends have cheated, I'm never really that shocked, to be honest. Like, you just know they're not actually meant to be in a relationship together. And I feel like they also know that. And more so your friends, you see them have miserable relationships or whatever, and then you see your friends cheat and you're like, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. And you do nothing about it and you just let it happen and you just say it's okay. What the fuck is up with people? More personal experience. So, as I said, I have never cheated. But when I was with a guy, I was starting to think about getting with other guys. And I genuinely wanted to do it. I honestly thought there was something wrong with me. Because I knew I still loved this guy. Did you love him? You're thinking about, you know, doing other dudes. Did you love him? Did you? You didn't love him. He was good for the time you were with him, wasn't he? But you didn't love him, really, did you? But at least, like she claims... Because we don't know. She's claiming she has never cheated. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's that's cute. But at least she broke up with him before she, you know, she hopped onto other men. And I was like, why am I? <laughs> I least, thought I was right. a terrible person. I genuinely thought I was horrible. I obviously, I did end up ending things with him because that's I was good. having these thoughts. And in the end. Hey, dirty thoughts. That's like a year on, I look back and I realise I wasn't supposed to be with that guy. And he wasn't actually making me feel fully happy. He wasn't fulfilling my needs. And I We don't... It's not our jobs to make you happy, whores. It's our jobs just to take care of you and provide certain things. Your happiness is your happiness. I can't do anything about it. I wasn't fulfilling his needs. And your needs aren't being met. Like the women's needs aren't being met. So they're looking for that somewhere. Else. What? But what needs? I mean, what she's not being needs? specific as to what needs. Is it what sexual needs? Is it caring needs? Affection needs? Money? Being more active? Wanting to go out and do stuff and take her places? What sort of needs is she talking about? Be a bit more specific. Else. If her needs aren't being met, obviously she should be open with you and tell you that they're not being met. But in my... Do, do women not ever realize that men have needs and our needs hardly ever get matched or, you know, like works? Why, why, why are we always talking about your needs? Men have needs too. My case, for example, I was probably too immature to even realize that my needs weren't being met. If she does realize that. She... It's just how selfish these women, all they care about is their own needs. They never said anything about the man's needs. They never said anything about what they provide, all the great things they do for their their men. It's just, I need this. If you don't give me this, I don't need you. Okay, girls, you know what? Men have learned. Men have learned very well now. And you're going to be alone and single. She should have the communication skills to talk to you. If she doesn't, then you're going for the wrong women. And thirdly, I think it's my third point, if... She communicates those needs to you, and then you don't actually do anything about them, then that's another reason for her to go find those things somewhere else. She should just break up with you. That's what I feel like are the main reasons why women cheat. The things that. It's still men's fault. Everything she's saying is literally men's fault. You like. Women just can't take any accountability ever. You can do about it is that you just need to go for women who know what they want and know how to communicate that. I think that's literally the only thing you can do, which obviously is difficult. But with I can time, agree with this, hopefully we'll all get there. You could just avoid women completely. Have your fun, but it's like, don't get into anything serious. Uh, uh, it depends. Who can you trust nowadays? If you think that the person who cheated on you is not affected, this is for you. I work with a lot of cheaters. And what we process during these sessions is guilt, remorse, shame, embarrassment, regret. The quality of our lives depends on the quality of our relationships. And these people are out here destroying relationships mm. and families sometimes. They're trying to fill an emptiness that they feel inside of them. And that temporary rush that they get from meeting someone new, it makes them feel alive, but only for a little while. But you know what the thing is? A lot of women only regret cheating when the options run. Fuck. 
I'm starting to feel this way now. Every time I meet someone new, I get excited. But after a while, it, it dies down really quickly. I'm becoming more and more like this. I've even talked to my friends about it. Like I'm becoming more sociopath. You know, like I just care less about people's emotions, care less about people in general nowadays. It could be because of the content. It could be because me getting older. But it's hard for me. Like I used to be so... Oh, family was everything. I want to do everything for family. I want to do this. I want to take care of people. Now I just, I don't feel it as much as I used to. I don't know if it's because I've gotten a little bit more successful and it just, you know, to be successful, you kind of have to put a mindset certain a certain way or what it is. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, lately I just feel less connected to with people, like the people around me run out when there aren't a lot of men around anymore a lot of decent men not f boys that are just willing to run through them no decent men that would actually want to build something with them it's when those men seem to just you know disappear dry up run out that you realize a lot of women regret cheating they won't say it because that would mean they're being accountable and it's like really but a lot of women do regret cheating cheating on men that were actually good to them when they realize other men aren't coming to save them there aren't going to be other men coming to save them there'll be other dudes but not other men of a certain quality you see when a lot of women cheat they like to shift the blame onto the man say it was because he wasn't doing something or he was lacking in some area or whatever but the point is later on in life when there's no one there when she's at home by herself thinking about her past she would have to face all the bs nonsense lies that she created to cope with the reasons she did what she did for her cheating for her ruining decent men and that's mm -hmm. why it's always good when these men who got cheated on they either turn out to have better lives if they find a decent woman and have a better life with her that's great or they just end up having better lives in general that's always good that's why the best thing men can do that have a broken heart if you've been cheated on is live and survive because in time a lot of women will see their own regrets and it's time, man. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Sometimes for others, it takes a long time. Sometimes it's just a few months for others, right? It took me six months, like I told you guys before, to get over my divorce and everything fully. I wouldn't say fully, but you know, to the point where it didn't bug me anymore. It's okay to feel a certain way after a long relationship or you know a certain amount of effort that you've put into something, but just don't let it keep you down mistakes and BS for a little while and then they are right back to feeling chronically empty all of our behaviors are intended to meet a need a lot of times these needs are unconscious two human needs that we're working with here are the need to feel loved and the need to feel significant cheating makes them feel significant but only temporarily mm. and they make the mistake of believing that limerence is love it's not hmm. when I was in my 20s I cheated now's your time girl live it up Getting cheated on now is even worse because I know what you're doing because I've done it and you're gross. I used to do the shadiest things when I used to cheat. I used to program mm. guys' names in my phone as other things so the guy I was dating didn't know what was going on, you know? And then he'd be like, hey, why is Bank of America calling you at two in the morning? Mm. It's weird. It's like that bank's trying to make a deposit. It's trying to deposit something. That is weird. <laughs> you know, they've really stepped up their customer service. They really want to make sure my check clears. I am going to thank them in the morning. Notice how she said cheat a lot in your 20s. And, you know, it's a comedy act. You stand up, making a little joke, ha ha. Telling I'm sure there's some some truth into what she's saying too a lot of women oh cheat in your 20s cheat in your 20s interesting which for a lot of women are their prime years of life their best looking years so a lot of women who would cheat in these years then you know 30 comes around and she's not as hot as she once was anymore and it's like she's now got a history of cheating i mean what decent man in their right mind would want to settle down with that woman i mean a lot of dudes have had their fun with her already it's like yeah i've been there and done it already yeah i'm not interested she'd done my friend as well and my cousin and my cousin's dog I'm, I'm, we're joking we're joking but you get the point a lot of women leave a trail and reputation through their cheating as well regardless of the reason why they cheat a lot of these women ruin decent men and ruin their own reputations and this is the part where red pillars and you know, oh men can cheat because it's different no you fucking idiots you're ruining your partner's trust you're ruining your partner's relationship you're damaging them also i don't get why men a good chunk of men seem to think that it's okay it's not if you are devastated because they cheated on you 
you can't imagine how devastated they would be if you cheated on them? How, how stupid are you? Then wonder why no one wants them later on in life. It's like women don't seem to understand. A lot of men talk. A lot of men do share their success stories in the amount of women they've bedded. A lot of men do that to show off to other men. And a lot of men share the same stories with the same chick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew her. She had a boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I knew her when she had a boyfriend too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too. Hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your 20s, women. And get them bodies in. Stack them bodies up. You're guaranteed to find a man when you're older. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's like, all right, well, why did Rite Aid just text you a photo of a... <laughs> Bizarre. That's disgusting. We are switching to Walgreens tomorrow. And then Walgreens sends you some nuts. But I, <laughs> just say. <laughs> Why do women regret leaving this type of guy? I'm about to tell you in this video. First no. off, it took them a while to commit to begin with. Then when they finally do commit and they're settled and they're in a relationship, and a woman decides to either end the relationship, they cheat, or they do something that betrays this type of man's trust. Essentially, when you hurt this type of guy. Ladies, there is no coming back from that. Hell no. It's almost an impossibility. And it's funny how these women try to come back because they realize the grass was never greener. The grass was never even grass. It was just like a, it was just like a simulation. It, was a sim it wasn't even anything over there. Yeah. So that's why a lot of women who cheat and ruin a hologram. try to come back. Maybe from her perspective, our damage isn't done. You're still walking around and alive. You're happy. You happy? Why? After I cheated on you and hurt you? No, 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 no. I'm going to come back and finish the job. So a lot of men should be careful. That's why that guy a few clips back that took his woman back after she cheated. Yeah, he's an idiot. No sequels, especially after she cheated. And she's coming back to finish you off. And the thing is, women will come back because this type of guy is rare. There aren't many like him. And if he's in your life, he's probably an asset. So hold on to him. Cherish him. And try hard not to betray this man's trust. Because once he's gone, he's gone for good. Like you betrayed Tyrese. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. He's gone for good. Why do married women cheat? Um, a lot of married women, a couple of reasons. They didn't marry the person they truly wanted to marry. Yeah. They, their uh, biological clock. I'm almost positive that is probably the biggest chunk of marriages that are getting divorced and stuff is women marrying the men that they did not want hit them and they married who was available at the time they settled basically they settled for whatever man would take them and they might have and this is why i think it's a kind of bad advice to give to women to settle I'm not saying that we should give them advice to you know lower their expectations yes but to settle for someone that they are not attracted to it leads to this shit. It leads to divorces it leads to broken men men without sons and daughters so, in my opinion, if they're not attracted and they don't have these, fuck them anyways. Don't don't deal with them. You only want people that want you. Guys, I know there's not very many of me that want you here, but in other countries, you might be able to be more successful. I've had an ex that they idolized. They might have had a, a something else that they, they didn't marry correctly. They didn't choose the person that they wanted to marry. They chose the person who wanted to marry them. Exactly. And so they settled to begin with. So they started wrong. And that can happen. On the alternative side, it could be is when she hasn't felt desired for a really long time. And a lot of these women have an ex in the past or a few exes in the past that they wish they married. But those exes were never going to marry him. Those exes were just fun. Those exes never took him seriously enough to ever want to marry him. So even though a lot of women do get married, they constantly are thinking about that ex. Yeah? Oh, he, oh he did things to her, didn't he? Mm. Mm, he sure did. Mm. And even though she may never see him again, she still thinks about men like him. And what it would be like to revisit that sort of feeling with a man similar to him if she can't get to him. I'm just saying she's lacking something at home, isn't she? It's not a roof over her head. It's not money. It's not food. It's not extra spending money to buy her crap. No, 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 no. Hmm, what is she lacking? And she puts the feeling of needing to feel desired and sexy and attractive as a number one like uh, emotion. So she'll put that over and above her family and she craves that. So if she's naturally born like quite uh, attention seeking or if she married who, she, who wanted to marry her rather than who she truly wanted to marry, unfortunately, she's more prone to cheating. You know, some people mm. think I talk about sex a lot and it's like, I think I talk about it for a reason other than the fact of 
it is important. People keep acting like it isn't. Yes, it is. Look at the amount of people that are throwing away their entire lives just for a bit of sex. Hmm. Yeah, and and you and also if she grew up with a bit of chaos. A lot of men have learned you can't just trust a woman because she could be with you for leverage, using you for comfort. But really, her pleasure and her needs are being met by someone outside of the relationship. Have a nice day. Shout out to Replicant Fish. This is why we almost always say deal with women that like you. Don't be the one that's pursuing. Be the one that's being pursued. Work on yourself. If a woman likes you, she may not be that attractive or whatever, for whatever reason or what it is. You should still give her a chance, in my opinion. For me, I'm way more, more willing to go down on looks as long as she has everything else I, I want. She, she knows how to cook. She cooks Cambodian food. Or she's willing to learn to cook Cambodian food. She's fucking, you know, is willing to not fucking argue with me all the time. All of these little things matter to me more than if she was gorgeous or not. Please extract them below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys.